Yo, what up, y'all? Your boy Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment, Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. And man, I just wanted to quickly jump on here. Ha First of all, happy Easter to everybody. You just got back from Easter. Easter brunch, breakfast, whatever, with my daughter and my fam. You know what I'm saying? And uh, haven't really had time to blog on the battle last night until now. I'll do a full recap in a little bit when I got some time. But I just wanted to speak on Cassidy and Hitman. While everybody's still speaking on it and while it's still kind of fresh in my head, you know what I'm saying? Um, I see people, last night I already saw people painting narratives, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I saw the Brotherhood basically, basically, uh, you know how there's a fight before, during, and after the battle for perception because perception is reality. Well, they're trying to change everybody's perception because Cassidy 30'd Hitman last night, in my opinion, because Hitman was fire. You can say all them similes and, and entendres and metaphors and, and all have all that wordplay. And Cassidy had did that shit too. But Cassidy had angles, personal angles that hit harder than anything Hitman said. He won every round, edged every round with personal angles. Who knew that Cassidy was a master angler this whole time? We knew him as a puncher. Who knows that he's a, who knew he was a master angler? What's up? He did that shit master. The way he crafted his rounds and weaved in and out of angles into punches, used angles to, you, bro, angled into haymaker punches. Like, bro, that, that first round reminded me of, Kind of like a T-top round or a mook round. You know what I'm saying? Like, it reminded me, I'm not comparing or saying he's as good as them or anything like that. But what I'm saying, uh, there there was some essence of that there. It was reminiscent. It was T-top-esque, mook-esque as far as that. Because those are the two angle, angle gods in battle rap. And it was similar. It was like, bruh, he killed him with personals. No one thought he was going to do this. Now, it wasn't a dirty 30. It wasn't, it was a close battle. It was a very competitive battle, but he edged every round because of the personals. Because, and he, this was by far the most fire Cassidy we've seen. He's figured it out a little bit, bro. His performance was way fire, but just the angles he had was crazy. This is the first time he's gotten past the first round and still been smoking. The second, third round, he just got stronger, stronger, bro, that first round. But just the way the impact of that first round and the truth, the reason he killed so bad is because, like I said, Hitman can do all those, all the similes, the metaphors, the wordplay, the entendres, but real shit will always beat that shit. And if you can make, and if you can, and if you can make metaphors and similes out of real shit, out of shit that's based within the realm of reality, like Cassidy was doing, that's going to beat that made up shit every time. He had way more substance than Hitman. Hitman had bars, but way, I'm not going to say he had none, but he had way less substance. Cassidy had so much substance and had so many angles, had so much personal shit. I signed your Spalding. Every time you getting your dick sucked, wow, all these dudes' faces on your wall looking down. Like, bro, weird shit. Like, he was like, bro, exposing them, bro. Like, y'all gay. The Brotherhood dudes be fucking you. You're at Beasley's house. Your name is on the NDA. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Non-disclosure agreement. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, you can't speak on that shit because so much wild shit, nasty bullshit be going down there. Like, come on, yo. Cassidy was master. He he crafted the rounds masterfully and delivered them fire. That this was dope, man. This is what every this the cast everybody wanted to see. Not only so he did that. He weaves from angles in between angles and punches for the first two rounds, bro, bro. That shit was so impactful. I wrote bars down and stuff too. I'm gonna do a real recap, but um, also in the third round he just. Punched him to death. It's like the first two rounds, he was like, I'm going to expose this dude. Then he was like, in the third, I'm going to just give everybody exactly what they're expecting from me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but punch. Bro, he was freestyling. He was rebuttaling shit. He was freestyling about shit. Y'all don't understand. He just crafted that that first round recently. That was about, a lot of it was about the face-off. You know what I'm saying? And I was glad. He, I was hoping he would do it. That just shows you the skill he has as a writer. Also, 
Now, I'm not taking nothing away from Hitman either. Hitman had a great performance. That first round, he was cooking. But he lost. He lost, bro. He lost. He lost 3-0 in a gentleman's 30. Every round was close. Cassidy edged each round. That third round, Cassidy, I thought, might have been the dopest round out of Cassidy, real talk. It was all fire. The first round was his best round. But he was punching crazy, freestyling in that third round. Like, you could tell he did all the angles in the first round, in the first two rounds, and in the third, he just went nuts with punches, bro. Like, punching dude's head off. Like, it was impressive, man. Freestyling crazy. Like, yo, motherfuckers got to put some respect on Cass' name after this. Put some respect on Cass' name. Cassidy, man, 3-0. Gentleman 30, not dirty 30. It was very close. I'm not mad if you give him a 2-1. I'm not mad if you go Hitman 2-1. But for me, Cassidy, 3-0. You know what I'm saying? In a gentleman's 30. Wow. He shocked the world with that shit. Who'd I have winning? I'll give y'all who I got in every battle, too, before I bounce. I'll do a full recap of all the battles. But first battle, who was it? Oh, Raw, 3-0 over Show. Uh, Show off. Hopefully that humbles you a little bit. Hopefully that humble show off because he ran his mouth way too much. Didn't let Raw get a word in in none of the face-offs. Raw let his bar speak for him, and they spoke loudly. He might have had the best performance of the night. 3-0 Raw. Show needed to be humbled, man. First real big stage, and he dropped the ball. He died up there. Um, like In the words of Caps, he died up there. Um, Old Red Jag or no? Nah, I had Ill Will beating A-Ward. Ill Will had, had the best round of the year so far, maybe. Round of the year contender for that number for that second round. You know what I mean? Right up there with uh with Loso's round, I think second round against Vixen. You know what I mean? Um Who else, man? Jag O Red. I O Red 2-1. 2 1 or really 3 0. Like, I couldn't give Jag around. Jag just trashed to me. I'm sorry. I'm not a hater. I don't see what everybody else sees. He's got the delivery. He's got that. Yeah. But his stage presence wasn't that good. And his substance sucks. Like, he's so fucking simple. He's trash to me. He really needs to get more intricate with the pen. I mean, he's not even good enough to be beating these bully rappers to me. He, if you look at the content, Bro, bar for bar, Old Red smoked him. It's not even close. The crowd sucked for that battle. The crowd sucked for every battle just about. Bro, we were so spoiled with COVID and the, and the pandemic and the, the quarantine era where every battle's real quick, every no crowd interruption. You can really hear everybody. No, You don't got to wait for everybody to shut the fuck up between battles. There was like two hours of fucking wait time collectively in that shit last night. Just waiting for the crowd to shut the fuck up. Waiting for people to get through the crowd. Waiting on the crowd to stop booing or stop doing whatever. Like the big crowds, just reminding us, how me, how much the big crowds fucking suck. How much they take away from the battle. You know what I mean? We've been very spoiled with the COVID shit. You know what I mean? So, because all the fucking... Battle's been running smooth. Events been way quicker and smooth. I don't know. That's just how I feel. But Cassidy 3-0, baby. Let me know what y'all think, man. Cassidy shocked the fucking world. That shit was wild. Let's get it, baby. It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. Full recap coming. Um, I had O-Red beating Jag, and I had Big K beating Clone. 2-1, 3-0. I got to watch it again, but the dog strikes again. Let's get it. I'm out of here. 100.